So just last week, there was a fairly major update to the Xenia Xbox 360 emulator that runs on Windows, PC, and is currently being developed for Android. And that has to do with performance. And the results themselves, at least from my testing so far, have been quite staggering. And in today's episode, we're going to take a look at the Xenia Canary emulator running with those performance improvements on the Valve Steam Deck. Today's video is brought to you by Surfshark VPN. With internet privacy being such a huge deal these days, it's more important now than ever to protect yourself. With Surfshark VPN, you can easily hide your IP address and encrypt all data that you send and receive. You can easily switch regions to other countries in the world. This means not only your true IP address and identity is masked, it also means you can get around any annoying geolocation locked video content. You know the ones that say, this video isn't supported in your country? This can get annoying for me when I want to watch local Aussie news. With Surfshark VPN, I can switch my country to Australia and this problem simply goes away. When I'm researching my videos, because of the nature of my channel, sometimes I need to access older unsecured websites of modding and the underground, and I feel safer knowing that my true IP address is not exposed to these sites. Surfshark VPN also allows you to connect to unlimited devices simultaneously on a single account. And this includes Windows devices, Linux, Android, iOS, Amazon Fire TV, and much more. Surfshark VPN has an awesome offer on right now. If you sign up at surfshark.deal slash mvg, you will save 83% off and receive three extra months for free. And if you think it sucks, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, which will give you plenty of time to try out Surfshark VPN risk-free. Now let's talk about the particular update that contains this performance boost. About six days ago of the making of the video, there was a pull request that was submitted to the Xenia Canary branch that says super big boost in performance. Huge set of performance improvements. Users have reported absurd gains over master for some gains in the range 30% to 90%. Now this is not an exaggeration. I ended up running a couple of tests on my PC, which is a mid-spec PC. And as you can see on the left here is the Xenia Master and on the right hand side is the Xenia Canary. There is no tricks, no smoke and mirrors here. You can see that the frame rate is substantially increased. Now to get the best Xenia experience on the Valve Steam Deck, at least of the making of this episode, you're going to need to create a Windows partition. Now doing this is quite simple to do. The only thing that you really need to do to get Windows running on your Steam Deck is to install Windows as a bootable drive on an SD card. And then what you wanna do is insert that SD card into your Valve Steam Deck, and then you can access an early boot menu and simply select that SD card. Now, once we are booted into Windows, we can simply install the latest Xenia Canary build in our games. Now, the reason why I mentioned Windows instead of Steam OS simply is because the experimental version of Xenia that's running under EmuDeck still is not stable enough for me to recommend. At this time, you're best suited to running the Windows version on a Windows partition. But let's jump into the testing. And first up, let's try out Red Dead Redemption. This game has had a troubled past when it comes to running under emulation. So how does that translate to the Steam Deck? Well, the good news is it does scale quite nicely on the deck as well. Of course, we're not going to get those super high 60 FPS uncapped frame rates, but the game does start to push 30 FPS. And this is the original way the game was intended to be played. And I'm very happy to report that on the Steam Deck, Red Dead Redemption all of a sudden is very, very playable. And this is really great to see. Now, there is a bit of a competition to see which emulator has Red Dead Redemption running better. Is it RPCS3 or is it Xenia? And overall, I would say Xenia, at least of the making of this video, is the clear winner. Red Dead Redemption all of a sudden runs really, really well. And I'm happy to report it runs great on the Steam Deck. But moving on to Burnout Revenge, as you can see on the Steam Deck, we're starting to get frame rates that push 60 FPS. Now, of course, this is not a locked experience, but overall, this is very, very solid, very playable. And once again, those performance improvements that we were told about in the Xenia Canary branch are available here, and it's awesome to see.
Now, if you ask me what my favorite Fable game is in the franchise, it's undoubtedly Fable 2. And I'm happy to report on the Steam Deck, we're getting really great frame rates, pushing that 30 FPS cap. And at least in the early part of the game, I didn't get to test the entire game, but in this early part of the game, the graphical effects, the post-processing effects, the particles, everything is rendering correctly. And this is something that has been a bit of an issue in previous builds. And certainly the frame rate has seen some significant improvements. I was testing out Fable 2 on Xenia just a couple of weeks ago. And I can tell you that we're getting a much improved experience here. Now another game that I tested was Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker HD. Now unfortunately I couldn't get Metal Gear Solid 2 HD or 3 HD to work. I have seen this running on Xenia before so I'm not sure if it's just something that was on my configuration or maybe the rip that I had was bad. But Peace Walker HD as you can see is one of the games that I don't want to say it's locked at 60 but it's pretty close thanks to the Xenia Canary updates with those performance improvements on the Steam Deck, silky smooth and an amazing experience. If anyone out there was able to get Metal Gear Solid 2 HD or 3 HD running on the Steam Deck via the Xenia Canary, please leave a comment in the description below because I definitely would like to test performance of those two games as they are some of my favorite games of all time. One game that I'm quite familiar with that runs on Xenia is Forza Horizon 2. Of course, this is a beautiful looking game in the Forza Horizon franchise. And in the past on Xenia, it's been a little bit hit and miss. The performance has always been very good, but there were texture issues specifically when it came to the car and ground textures and shadows around the car. And I wasn't really sure how it would fare on the Steam Deck. But as you can see, we're running at almost lock 30 frames per second with the occasional hitch here and there. And those texture issues in the past have been resolved. And for me, this is an awesome way to revisit the Forza Horizon franchise, which sadly, all the games other than Forza Horizon 5, I believe at least, have been delisted. Now, as someone who's a big Perfect Dark fan, I was quite disappointed at Perfect Dark Zero. The game itself is very well documented, very polarizing. Some people love it, some people don't. I didn't particularly think it was a great game, but hey, that's beside the point. It's running well on the Steam Deck. Xenia is emulating this game exceptionally well. I played through the first level and I couldn't really notice any type of performance issues nor did I notice any type of graphical issues. So if you are a fan of Perfect Dark Zero and you do have a Steam Deck and like emulation, then check it out running under Xenia Canary. You'll be suitably impressed. Now the last game that I tested was Condemned Criminal Origins. This was developed by Monolith and I think it was a launch game all the way back in 2005 and one of my favorite games on the Xbox 360. This particular game has an uncapped frame rate and as you can see it's running at about 45 frames per second on the Steam Deck. Very very playable, very awesome and I love this game and I'm very happy to actually be able to play this game on handheld on the Steam Deck because this is one of those games that I feel like is going to be lost in the history of time in video games and it's not something that I feel like will ever be remade or re-released or remastered in any capacity and it is a shame because this particular game and its sequel are very good games so check out Condemned Criminal Origins if you have a Steam Deck Pick up a copy, rip the game, and run it on your deck. You'll have a really great experience overall. 
So there you have it, that is Xenia, the latest Canary build with those performance improvements running on the Valve Steam Deck. Very impressive and it's just going to continue to get better over time. And as always, if you want to support these teams, you know, check out their Patreons or donate to them. They're doing amazing work here. They're preserving video games for all of us to enjoy and having 360 games running on the Steam Deck is just really is just amazing to see. And I'm going to continue to cover this story as improvements do come down the line and i'm sure once we get a native linux build that's kind of out of experimental mode that runs at a good level of performance and we'll definitely cover that as well because i think a lot of people are certainly waiting for that but for now guys we are going to leave it here for this episode thank you so much for watching if you liked it don't forget to put a like on it and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye for now